Huawei's Harmony OS Next is making waves in the tech world, and today we're diving deep into what this means for the future of smartphones. If you've ever wondered whether Huawei could truly go independent from Android, you're about to get all the answers. Not only is Harmony OS Next a bold move by Huawei, but it also brings a completely different experience from both Android and iOS. And the biggest question on everyone's mind, can you install APKs and run your figured apps? The answer might surprise you, so stick around until the end because what we've uncovered is a game changer. One of the biggest challenges of using Harmony OS Next outside of China is the lack of access to Google Play services, but that doesn't mean you're out of options. There are workarounds that let you install and run APKs, which means you can still get your favorite apps working on this new system. In the past, solutions like Easy Abroad helped bridge the gap, but now there's something even more powerful, an app called Droid Tong. This tool allows you to install APKs and transfer files between different environments seamlessly. So if you're thinking of making the switch to Harmony OS Next, this is something you need to know. Finding Droid Tong isn't as simple as searching for it in the Huawei app gallery. Since it's not readily available in the global version, you'll need to search for it using the Chinese name, which can be a bit tricky. One of the easiest ways to do this is by taking a screenshot of the app's name in Chinese and using Harmony OS's built-in AI text recognition to copy and paste it into the search bar. This little trick makes it much easier to locate and download the app. Once installed, Droid Tong integrates with Easy Abroad, allowing you to share downloaded APK files between both applications. Now let's talk about installing APKs. If you're used to downloading APK files and installing them directly, things work a little differently on Harmony OS Next. You'll first need to download the APK file using Harmony OS Next built-in browser. After that, open Droid Tong and navigate to the file transfer section. Select the downloaded APK and move it to the shared storage between Droid Tong and Easy Abroad. From there, you can proceed with the installation. While some apps may still give warnings, you can bypass them by selecting View Risks and proceeding with the installation. This method allows you to install apps like YouTube, WhatsApp, or even custom launchers like Niagara Launcher, completely transforming the user experience. One of the most fascinating aspects of Harmony OS Next is how it interacts with installed applications. Even though Huawei has distanced itself from Android, the system still detects itself as running an Android 12 environment in certain instances. This is likely due to how virtual machines are used to create compatibility layers for apps that would otherwise be unavailable. What this means for users is that while Harmony OS Next is officially an independent OS, it still maintains an underlying structure that allows some level of Android app compatibility through workarounds. Speaking of Huawei's dominance, the company has been making massive strides in the smartphone market, particularly in China. In 2024 alone, Huawei's market share skyrocketed by 36%, putting it well ahead of its competitors. The success can largely be attributed to devices like the Pura 70, Nova 13, and the highly anticipated Mate 70 series. These smartphones are redefining innovation across different price points, giving both budget-conscious and premium users a reason to stick with Huawei. With Xiaomi, Apple, and other brands struggling to keep up, Huawei's ability to innovate is paying off in a big way. Interestingly, while Huawei is rising, Apple is seeing a decline in China, dropping to just 13% market share. This suggests a shift in consumer preferences, with more users opting for homegrown brands that offer better value for money. Xiaomi, on the other hand, has managed to hold on to second place with a 10% increase in market share, while Vivo remains in third. However, with the rapid growth of Harmony OS and the increasing adoption of Huawei's ecosystem, the competition is about to get even more intense in 2025. Looking ahead, the question remains, can Huawei fully replace Android in its ecosystem? The company is investing heavily in its own app ecosystem, and with Harmony OS next taking bold steps towards independence, we might see a future where Huawei users no longer need Android at all. The transition won't be immediate, but given Huawei's track record, it's only a matter of time before they make Harmony OS a true global competitor to iOS and Android. So, what do you think? Is Harmony OS next the future, or will it struggle outside of China? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exclusive updates on the latest tech innovations. Stay tuned because the smartphone industry is evolving faster than ever, and we're here to bring you all the latest insights.